The Vismo series are 10.4 inch bedside monitors with several configurations for a wide range of patients. There are two models. PVM2701 can monitor basic parameters like ECG, respiration, SpO2, NIBP, and temperature. And additionally, the PVM2703 can monitor IBP as well as CO2. For each parameter, we can monitor, store data, and set alarms when the patient condition changes. Both models can be connected to central monitors and can monitor patient data remotely. This is PVM2701, and this is PVM2703. On the front panel, you can find the power switch, the touch screen, and the alarm indicator. The external difference between the two models is the left side panel. The PVM2703 has a multi-socket for IBP and CO2. All the other sockets for ECG SPO2, NIBP, and temperature are the same. On the back side, you will find the handle, the battery pack holder, the AC power connection, and the equipotential terminal. The optional network socket, ZS socket, and serial output socket can be installed. On the right side panel, there are the check key and SD card slot for the maintenance. Also, you can mount the recorder module here. Press the power button to turn the power on. To turn the monitor power off, press and hold the power button for more than one second. Touch Menu and Admit Discharge to go to the admit screen. Enter patient information by touching items and entering by using the keyboard. After input the data, touch enter to confirm the input. Touch admit and new patient. To access the admit screen, you can also touch the patient's name area at the top. Touch Home to go back to the main screen. The bedside monitor has now started monitoring the patient. When you discharge a patient, touch Menu and Admit Discharge to go to the Admit screen. Touch Discharge and New Patient. When you discharge the patient, all patient data will be erased. Touch Menu to open the menu screen. Here you can find several functions, for example, review vital signs data or check the alarm settings. To go back to the main screen, touch the Home key or the Waveform display area. Touch the numeric data to go to the parameter settings directly. You can configure the function keys at the top to go to frequent screens directly. To change the ECG settings, touch Menu and ECG. Or touch the heart rate value. You will now see the alarm limit setting. It is possible to adjust the upper or lower alarm limit by touching each parameter. You can also find the sensitivity and lead setting. Touch each selection to change them. When you start monitoring, the bedside monitor will learn the normal ECG as a reference for arrhythmia detection. If the arrhythmia detection is inaccurate due to a change of the ECG baseline, you can perform learning the current ECG waveform by touching Learn. You can change the other settings as well. It is the same procedure to change the settings of SPO2. Touch Menu and SPO2.
or touch the SPO2 value to adjust the upper or lower alarm limit by adjusting each parameter. You can also change the other settings like sensitivity and sync source. For NIBP, touch the NIBP value to adjust the upper or lower alarm limit. To start a manual NIBP measurement, just touch Start Stop. To start auto measurement, touch NIBP interval. Then the measurement interval window opens. Here you can select the measurement interval. Then touch Start Stop on the home screen. For invasive blood pressure, touch the IVP value to change the alarm limit by adjusting each parameter. For zero calibration, expose the blood pressure line to the air and touch zero calibration and zero cal. You can change the scale, label and other settings. For temperature, touch the temperature value to adjust the alarm limit. Touch the CO2 value to adjust the alarm limit by selecting each parameter. In case of using the P910A CO2 sensor, to start CO2 monitoring, expose the airway adapter to the air and perform a zero calibration by touching air cal, yes, and X. For P907 CO2 sensor, Zero calibration is not necessary. You can also change each parameter setting in the respiration CO2 window. In case of an alarm, Vismo will show a message with an alarm level color, blue, orange or red, a specific sound for the alarm level and highlighted numeric data. You can silence the alarm by touching silence alarms. The monitor has a guide menu. To access, touch the guide key on the home screen. You can also find the guide key on the menu window. Bismo can store numeric data and an ECG waveform for 120 hours. You can review data on trend table, NIBP table, trend graph, recall, full disclosure, alarm history, and OCRG. You can also record or print data by touching Record. To review data from each review screen, touch Menu and select a review screen you would like to see. You can also switch to the other review screens by touching the desired tab. All review screens show the same time data. To review the waveform data at any specific time on the trend graph, just switch from the trend graph screen to the full disclosure screen. At the trend graph, there are two graphs available. Each trend graph displays up to three parameters. You can select parameters to show from setup. You can also change the scale setting for each parameter from scale. To change the time period and display time, touch plus or minus to change the display time width. Up to two trend patterns can be configured based on your needs. Graph 1 and Graph 2 have their own settings of the displayed parameters and scales. To change parameters at the trend table, touch Setup. Up to 15 selected monitoring parameters can be displayed. You can also change the interval time by touching Interval and select the time. 
To see the trend table when NIBP is measured, touch the NIBP table tab. At the full disclosure window, the first trace of the ECG waveforms can be saved for 120 hours. You can select display time among 5, 10, 30 or 60 seconds per trace by touching plus or minus. When you touch the waveform, the actual size waveform window opens. At the recall window, you can see the arrhythmia events list with the ECG waveforms. You can see the actual waveform size by touching an arrhythmia recall event item. To return to the arrhythmia events list, touch the waveform. At the alarm history, you can see which alarms occurred in the past. When multiple bedside monitors are connected to a network, you can see the other patient data from a bedside monitor by using interbed function. You can see monitoring data and other alarms as well. You can see up to 8 other patients' heart rate and SpO2 at a screen. When you would like to see more parameters, Touch the patient bed display area and an individual screen will be shown. To return to the interbed screen, touch X.